I'm back. This is my latest new build. A new aviation model. I'm nicknaming this one <laughs> the Red Baron just because it's red. <laughs> anyway, powered by an XLP and the four, the three low speeds are all derived by using a 5 plus 5 plus 5 microfarad on a four speed switch which probably is not enough. I'll have to up those later but it's good enough for this initial test. This thing does have an up light. It could also take a down light hence the uh, double pull pattern for the light. We'll start it off on low and <laughs> see, so you can see how it does. This is a very temporary install. I'm not going to leave it on a cast mounting bracket for long. Low speed is 40 RPM, which is still respectable for a 60 inch fan, but you'll see. I'll put it on medium low next. Two, three, four. Already, even at this is about 90 RPM, which a little low, which is okay for medium low, but not great. You'll understand why I say that in a bit. On the, I would call this medium, although technically it would be medium high. <laughs> We're getting 132 RPM. Actually, 134, I mean. Excuse me, but that would seem respectable for a 60 inch fan, wouldn't it? And for most 60 inch fans, I would agree. But on high speed, this one does 238 RPM, so there's too big of a jump. That's why I say I'll probably have to up my speed values. To put that in perspective, that's the speed your typical 52-inch Emerson with a 13-degree pitch does, stack motor. That is faster than a Casablanca with a 15-degree pitch. That is faster than a Hunter Original with its 15-degree pitch. And this is 60 inches. This thing is the second fastest large turning fan I have. The fastest turning one being the Mega Fan, but we'll ignore that. And then there's the Moss WF, which turns at 280 RPM, but that's only 52 inch, and that's 11, and that's 12 degree pitch. This thing has a high. That thing, that moss puts out a wind speed, uh, it starved rare, but I think if it wasn't, it would run rough, the only thing that rivals this. This thing, at 5.5 mile per hour wind speed, well, a Hampton Bay Industrial's 5.8 mile per hour wind speed. That's right, this thing is almost a Hampton Bay Industrial. And the one I tested was on a was in a much more open ceiling, so it could just be that this is starved for air. I would not be surprised if this thing is in the same around 10,000 CFM category. I just, as is in this install, it's only around 9,500. But to say only 9,500 when your typical ceiling fan is 52-inch fan is maybe 5,000 to 6,000 at best, and a good one is maybe 7,000 to 7,500.
not counting the Blender fan, which is, of course, an illegal all its own. Or that moss at its 8,500 to 9,000. That's the point. This is just insanely powerful. This took so long to build, but I'm very happy with how it came out. I have to figure out when I'm going to install it permanently, but I'm still happy with this initial test. Now I'll do spin down nail. <laughs> this will be all for this initial test video. I'm very happy with the results. It was totally worth the effort to make this happen. Lots of them custom made parts, figuring out how to wire in the up light and everything. That's all. I hope you enjoyed.